Hey, this is Pastor Randy with Menorah Minute. I want to talk about circumcision today, a topic that you probably don't hear about too often, but what I want to focus on today is this concept that circumcision is not only an Old Testament concept, we actually find circumcision in the New Testament. Now, the concept though, or the way we are circumcised today is different. I'm going to review that, but I want to review the original command. So, this was a token of the covenant between Yahweh and Abraham, and we find that in the book of Genesis. So, Genesis 17, and I'm going to read 9 through 14 here. It says, And Elohim said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore, thou and your seed after you and your generation. This is my covenant, which you shall keep between me and you and your seed after you. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. And you shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. It shall be a token between covenant of the covenant between me and you. So we find here that the the act of circumcision was a was a token, was was a symbol of the covenant between Abraham and Yahweh, and consequently between us. Verse 12 says, and, and he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generation. He that is born in your house, or bought with money, or any stranger, which is not of your seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with your money, must needs to be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. So we find, number one, circumcision was a big deal. We find here that circumcision, again, was a sign or token of the covenant between Abraham and Yahweh. And if the person was not circumcised, they were not part of that covenant. Now, this concept still holds true today. So I want to share with you now, we don't believe physical circumcision is necessarily a requirement for salvation today, but we do believe circumcision is still a requirement for circumcision or for, for salvation, not physical circumcision, though. So in Colossians, Paul speaks about this. And, and, uh, and again, many people may not understand this theologically, but there is a connection between uh, circumcision and uh, baptism. And uh, again, Paul explains that here in this passage. So this is again found in Colossians and uh, begins in verse uh, 11. So here's what Paul says. He says, In whom also you are circumcised, not with the uncircumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh, but by the circumcision of Messiah. So we find here the circumcision again still exists. We see here that we are still to be circumcised. But how are we to be circumcised? Or verse 12 says, Buried with him by baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of Yahweh, who hath raised him from the dead. So we find here that we are circumcised through baptism into Yahshua's name. And as circumcision, physical circumcision, served as a sign or a token between Abraham and Yahweh in the Old Testament, baptism serves the same purpose today between us and Yahweh. You see, we are not part of a part of his body unless we're baptized into his name. And we are circumcised through the baptism of Yahshua the Messiah. And that's why circumcision is still important to understand. Again, we don't believe physical circ circumcision may be necessary for salvation. But circumcision through baptism in Yahshua's name is, is required for salvation. We must wash away our sins, the remission of sins, and become part of him, again, through baptism and only through baptism. So this is why this topic is so important. I pray that this, uh, again, short video has um, opened your eyes to the importance of circumcision and also the connection between circumcision and baptism in Yahshua's name and why baptism is so vitally important. So with that, I would wish you a good day. I would also encourage you, by the way, to share this video, to like this video, and uh, to support this work. And uh, with that, I would wish you a good day again, and may Yahweh bless you.